Hey guys, Master of Extreme 93, part 27 in Leaf Green. In the last episode, we got our 7th gym badge. This episode, we're going to go to 2 Island. Joining me today is Mop. Hello, everybody. Well, yeah, pretty self-explanatory. Um, last, very ending of last video, we got a meteor we have to deliver. So, we're going on 2 Island, and we have to deliver it to some faggot. Yeah, pretty simple. Faggots. See what's behind this tree, and there is a revive. I guess that's nice. Ooh, ooh. I could use one of those in Ruby. <laughs> Speaking of which, go post Ruby. Oh yeah, I'll do that tonight, and then tomorrow I have a Mario Kart Wii vid. Like, Mario Kart Wii vid with Wolf to post. You need to do like a freaking Ruby, like you know, marathon. Marathon, yes, I know. I'm like. My time schedule has been like jotted down to like where I can barely do anything because of like because I I got I joined a new school this year like a completely new one I didn't know anybody and like I have so many friends that live in my neighborhood and they all come by like every day so it's like so hard now. All right, so we go into Game Corner right here on Two Island and apparently this guy is looking for a chick by the name of Lostella. I, I, I don't know. That's her name, Lost Stella. You know, like the word lost, and then like, yeah. Stella. Yeah. That's such a creative name by freaking Game I know. Freak. This girl is lost. Like the guy is looking for her. She d he doesn't know where he where she is. Her name is mm -hmm. Lost Stella. <laughs> okay, that has got to be terrible name creating by the people. Now a biker comes crashing in. Like. Okay, you don't have to come in with your bicycle. What does this look like? A get together. Lol, he thinks this is he thinks this is three island. <laughs> this is two island, idiot. Go away, idiot! This is two island. So yeah. He's like, oh, 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 yeah, I gotcha. This is two island, not three island. Okay, bye. So, like, he leaves and stuff. Peace out, motherfucker. Would you look at that? That punk scuffed up my floor. You, God forbid something happens to your floor. It's like, your floor <laughs> is so precious. Alright. I have such a precious floor. We're gonna go back up to the cap brink. Because up here, there is an old lady which will teach one of your starters, if you have a starter Pokemon like your Venusaur, Blastoise, or Charizard, uh -huh. have that the first slot on your team, talk to this lady, and she will teach you like a powerful move, which is pretty much the equivalent of Hyper Beam for your elemental sure. type. Such as, uh, Charizard will learn Blast Burn, I believe Blastoise would, would get Hyd... Hyd... What, what was it? Hydro Beam? Hyd... Hydro pump? Not, hy not hydro pump, but like something like that. Uh, and then I know for a fact Venusaur would get Frenzy Plant. But because I don't really care about giving my Venusaur Frenzy Plant in replacement of my other grass moves right now, I'm not going to give it Frenzy Plant right now. I might later if I want to. But for right now, I'd rather well, just keep Razor Leaf and Giga Drain. Yeah. So yeah, that's pretty self, self explanatory. But now we have to go to Three Island because. We're just running around doing favors after favors after favors. Like at first I just had to go to two island. Now I have to go to three island in order to do something in order to go back to two island and then go back to one island. It's like, Gah! it's like too many favors. <laughs> Can't get a break. So yeah, we arrive at three island and now these bikers are like just rolling around, circling around this lady and she's like scared and stuff. It's like you can move out the way, okay? She's not gonna run you over. There's no such thing as violence in Pokemon games. Not human violence, at least. <laughs> okay, go inside this cave, and apparently there's nothing inside here except for an old guy, or a fat guy, I can't tell. Digging for gold. Cool story, bro. You, you do that. Cool story, bro. You, you go have fun digging for gold. Okay, we're now in Three Island, and there are bikers obviously have invaded this island, and I guess we have to tell these bikers to get the fuck out. What are you doing, Mop? 
moving around. Sounds sexy. <laughs> I know, right? Are you the boss? Go back to Kanto right now. Huh? I just got here, pal. What's with the hostile <laughs> attitude? It's mighty cold of you. Boy. I'm reading the text. Oh. Your new followers have been raising havoc on their bikes. Do you have any idea how much trouble they've caused us on the island? No, man. I don't get it at all. It's like he's like, don't even care. Look at this place. What do you do for entertainment? Oh, that's, n that's nice. Like, it's boring island. Boring island. <laughs> like, no movie theaters or nothing, no, like, water parks, no freaking anything to do. Like, what would you do if you lived in a town like that where there was, like, literally nothing to do? That must suck. Like, there's not even internet, you know, for you to go on a computer. Yeah. There's, like, literally nothing to do. That, that... I'd hate to be in... I'd hate to be in a situation like that in a neighborhood. Come at me, bro. It's like, hey, I like your guts, but you'll be losing money to me, so... Yeah, I have to battle a biker now. He's like, you want to pick with me? It's like, fuck yeah, come at me, bro. <laughs> like, what you got? He sends out a level 37 coughing. You were saying? What? Oh, you were like, what do you got? I was like, I got everything. Yeah, everything. I got everything. Okay, I did a terrible voice impersonation of, I don't know what I was trying to impersonate. <laughs> All right. Well, we get level forty-eight for <laughs> Arcanine, and uh, I guess switch out over to Raichu now. Uh, the thing about these bikers is that they're not really hard, but you have to battle them consecutively over and over, like without a break. I know. I hate that. Where are where are you in Ruby? I, I haven't even be keeping up because you haven't posted um, anything lately. Let me see. You might hear my voice in a second. Hello, every. Oh God! Such a, a faggy voice. <laughs> I know. Like, Hello, everybody! <laughs> <laughs> I stopped at like. This is like a really old video. It's like not. Um, I stopped at where. Is my mom home? Okay, good. She's not. Okay. Um, where am I? Let me see. It's gonna tell me in a second. Oh, I got a new gym badge. I fought. Who did I fight? Flannery. Oh wow, I didn't know you were that far yet. And then I read the cable car and sand boot and go goggles and shit like that. <laughs> well, you're much farther in Ruby than I thought you were, so you need to do more episodes. Because I, 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 I also do the long episodes. Oh yeah, you did like the 20 25 minute videos? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, like I'm on part 9 and I'm like already there. That's awesome. <laughs> I remember, I like, in my Emerald, I was, like, at part 5 and not even at the freaking second gym yet or something. I know. <laughs> it's like, I did my Emerald kind of slow, but I didn't have 15 minutes enabled at that time. Yeah. And even before I got 15 minutes enabled on my Leaf Green, I was still doing Leaf Green kind of fast. Yeah. But you did record um, Emerald a lot, which was a good I, I record, when I'm doing an LP, with the exception of Diamond, since Diamond... I had emulator problems. With yeah. The exception of diamond, I do LPs fast if I if I have the yeah. motivation to do them fast. Same here, but with Ruby, I just got like kind of bored of Pokemon at one point, like the actual game games. Yeah. But I, I think you just need to do a little bit more commitment to LPing because you do so much remixing. Yeah. I would think like eventually the remixing would be kind of like one dimensional on your account, and doing the yeah. LP would help you like your account get better and like grow if you do like more yeah. things. Yeah, I'm gonna come back to this LP and then I'm gonna like do a lot more stuff in it. All right, so now we I'll... defeated all the biker goons, and now we have to fight the. Fight the biker boss. I, said, I think I said bite the biker. Ooh. The biker bosses. This guy's fairly easy. Only has a level 39 uh, wheezing and level 39 muck. Muck. <laughs> muck backwards. <laughs> Come. So yeah, we're going to switch out into Ratchet since we got the Intimidate with Arcanine. And fuck! Self-destruct. Fuck. Ratchet still lived though because his attack was cut but still. Like, just go suicide bomb on us. Freaking Middle Eastern person. Implying we're going to insult Middle Easterns in this video. 
Like Saeed. <laughs> yeah, but Saeed's sexy though. He's like the sexiest Arab yeah. ever. Yeah. He he knows he's an Arab. He's proud. I can respect that. He he like really good with like you know not doing the stereotypical like Arab type of person. He's just like really chill. Yeah. Which is awesome. I wish he would get back online, but he's like busy with college shit. Did you ever like talk to Saeed that much? Mm, we knew who we were, like, he knew I was mocked and stuff. Yeah, I mean, we used to always do sexy Skype calls and video calls, and he was just, like, so awesome. Like, um, I remember, that, like, with my old, old computer, before I had my Mac, it was, like, me, like, when I first came to, like, YouTube and stuff, it was, like, after your birthday, um, it was like me, you, Saeed, Luigi, VG, and like Evan all in like a call. Oh god, Evan like just on a call with other people. I remember like... I know. So fun. I know, it was like the good old days. La Stella went off towards Bond Bridge a while ago. So now we defeated the biker gang, they fled the city, and we have to go find the missing chick. Ooh, the missing chick. That could be a movie, The Missing Chick. <laughs> the missing chick. Go behind this tree and we get a zinc, which be boosting special defense for one of our Pokemon, which is always nice. We're now at Bond Bridge, but guess what? She's not actually at Bond Bridge. She's past the Bond Bridge over by Berry Forest. So we have to go across Bond Bridge and then go to Berry Forest and go find her inside there. Yada yada yada, but Bond Bridge just has a couple trainer battles we have to fight, so. I guess we should go ahead and start fighting them. Uh, wild battle, go away. Is there an item over here? It's like, you know how you notice, like, if there's, like, a really awkward position, like, corner? Like, if you go walk in the corner, you think there's gonna be an item over there? Yeah. Like, I always check those, and you know, there's nothing there, and I'm gonna be like, fuck, I'm wasting my time. I know. Alright, we have a trainer battle against a <coughs> flower girl. I don't know. Technically, her name is Aroma Lady. That's really nice. Since that level 36 Bulbasaur, called Bulbasaur Bro. Why is that thing not fully evolved? Like, why did they do that? Do, do they expect to be good trainers by having unevolved starters? Like, really? I know. Like, I'm gonna kick your ass with a Bulbasaur. Oh, she has an <laughs> Ivysaur now. Ivysaur level 36, really. Oh my god, Camtasia is like, not, it's, Camtasia itself is not lagging, but my Camtasia recorder is lagging. Like, it's stuck like on 7 minutes and we're like 13 minutes into the video. <laughs> <laughs> Epic fail. I know. We get level 48 for Raichu, I guess that's cool. I guess I'm kinda over leveled at this point, cause usually, I'm just saying usually, at this point in the game, your team might be a little bit under level against the gym leaders. Blaine had a level 47 Pokemon, and my entire team is like level 47, 48, and that's like a team of six Pokemon, so I'm guessing I'm kind of grinding a little bit too much, I think. But it's always I, good. I grinded too much. I grinded too much in yellow. Oh, I remember. I, re I wasn't even on the first, like, Jim and I already had a Pidgeotto. <laughs> you know what I used to do back in my um, childhood playing yellow? What? I did not know that catching a Mankey or a Nidoran that gets double tick, double kick, I did not know that was how you defeat Brock when you have Pikachu. What I would do <laughs> was that I would catch like five or six bug Pokemon in Brilliant Forest, train them all to like, you know, level 15 or 20. And hope I could be Brock that way. That didn't really work that's because, I mean, my best chance was like a Butterfree with Confusion because that's a special attack and Confusion. Yeah. Even though it's not super effective, they could still KO his Pokemon fairly decent, fairly decent. But still, the problem is that I just, for some reason, had the terrible, terrible luck fighting Brock even with Bug Pokemon. Like any Rock Throw would just like KO my Bug Pokemon immediately. So yeah. I said, "Fuck that." I'm just going to grind my Pikachu to like level 25 for the first gym. 
and just like spam to quick attack until I KO'd his dude. That's what I did! Just that's spam what, that's quick what, attack! That's exactly what I did. Oh my god, that's awesome. When I was like a little kid, I used to do that all the time. Just like spam quick attack and just hope you get critical hits enough to where you can I win. <laughs> <laughs> and then like I learned Thunder Waves, like, oh, I can paralyze his Geodude. Fuck! <laughs> That was just like, fuck! What am I supposed I to know. do to this thing? Uh, the good old days where you were so naive about Pokemon, you didn't even understand like the typings or nothing like that. I, I know. I loved those days because it made Pokemon much more hard. It made it much more difficult. I know, right? I I really wish this. I really wish I could go back in time. Like the the more you grow up and the more you understand about Pokemon, the less hard it becomes. I know. Because like, you understand everything, it's like, okay, this isn't really hard anymore. It doesn't have that type of, you know, naive factor of, like, you don't even know what you're doing or nothing. Because <laughs> even when you get a new game, like, if the yeah. typings aren't, you know, they don't come out with, like, a new type or nothing, there are, like, guides that come out on the internet or, like, in GameStop, they can pretty much tell you, like, where everything is. Like, you don't have to have... I you know. don't have to go blind I... anymore in a Pokemon game. You can pretty much do everything, you know, pretty easy. I know, I really hate that. You know what I thought was really funny when I got black for my DS? I did not what? look online. I had, at, at that point in March, even though games, um, the Japanese version of the games were out like since September of 2010, I had not looked mm -hmm. at a single black or white walkthrough because I wanted to keep that same element when I play it, it's the first time I'm looking at the game. Not like the Pokemon, but like the game and the areas of the gyms. Yeah. When I played black, I picked up so quickly on what or where I was supposed to go, and like, you know, like the whole storyline behind the game. It's like, that was like a new yeah. record for me. It's like, I cannot believe I pretty much understand everything about this game, and like where everything is. And like, it took me only like two or three days. In comparison to like the old games, it would take me like months and um, long months for me to figure out, oh, this is what you need to do. Well, yeah, it's it, the um, Pokemon has gotten really easy over the years, like growing up and the game itself. You know what? I, I believe I said this in a previous video. What they need to do for future Pokemon games? You need to make it to what? where when you go inside a gym, you can't leave until you either lose or beat the gym. You can't know, leave. You can't go out the door and like kill up your Pokemon after doing all the trainer battles before you get to fight the gym leader. Like once you enter the gym, the door is locked, and you don't leave until you either faint all your Pokemon on your team or you beat the gym. I believe they should do that. Yeah, they should. That make it a little, not really incredibly hard, but it would kind of make it to where okay, if you go in the gym, you can't just like get all the trainer battles out of the way for experience and then like go grind more outside the gym. Like no, you have to go until you either lose or win. I know. So now, we get back on the video, always going off topic, I apologize. We're <laughs> actually inside Berry Forest now, looking for La Stella. Still the most dumbest name I've ever heard. <laughs> and, you know, proper grammar. Most dumbest, I'm sorry. <laughs> and around this corner, and... we find... wait, that's not a chick, that's a little girl! I thought it was me like an adult girl. It's like a freaking five-year-old. <laughs> Who names their kid La Stella? I don't know. Who names like their five-year-old kid La Stella? What the fuck? <laughs> okay, so now we have to fight off this wild Pokemon that she's like pissing her pants over. Ah, oh, I want my daddy. It's like fuck, God. And we have to <laughs> KO a Hypno, level 30 Hypno, it should be fairly easy, but god, who names her kid La Stella? I don't know, that's a good question. Like, what the hell? What was Game Freak thinking? I know, Is right? Is La Stella like a Japanese name? I'm like, what? I hope to god. I, did, I know that they, they did not just create that name out of the blue, because if they did that, I'm, I need to go and just like, go to the developers of Game Freak and just kick them in the balls. I know. Alright, so we KO'd the Hypno fairly quickly, and now we can go back, hopefully, to Two Island and take the little whiny bitch with us. You know what I really hate? I hate it when people talk in third person. You're talking to the little girl, and she's like, La Stella was scared, but Mox came to save her. It's like, you are La Stella, you don't have to talk in third person. I know. 
Oh my god, what are you doing? It's like you're not The Rock from wrestling or something. Like, imagine that happening in real it's like, life. Kenneth just ate a pizza. Wait, I am Kenneth. <laughs> I think I've said this before, but I actually do in real life. Sometimes I mistake my real name for Mox. Like, because people know, call I me that, that all the time. I do that to me all. I like that. I'm. I do that to me. <laughs> <laughs> that, ha that happens to me all the time. I do that in school. Okay, so we finally delivered meteorite to the guy, which was the whole purpose at the very beginning of this video. And 20 minutes later, we finally do it, even though we could have done it a long time ago if we didn't have to go find his fucking daughter. So now he gives us a moonstone as a reward, which is kind of pointless since I already have a fully evolved Nido King. But whatever. We're done with Two Island. Now we can go back to one island and hopefully just, you know, get all of this over with. Because quite frankly, this is by far no- by far this is not the end of exploring the Sevi Island. This is just like a mission you have to do to get acquainted with the first three of seven islands. There's much more to do with the islands, just not all of it is right now. Go back to one island and we talk to Bill. What kept you so long? But not having a good time? No. Going to find some guy's daughter is not fun. <laughs> so, this video is almost over. Pretty much nothing else to do. Talking to Bill and his little maniac butt buddy with his PC. So what are you doing? Um... For, well, for one, I am co-narrating. Oh, pointing oh, out the office. I heard you're co-narrating with some faggot. I know, like... Moppy Titan. Oh, sorry, my friend My friend was talking to me. And so was like... That's cool, that's cool. Pretty much only about, what, 30-something seconds left in this video. So now we ride back with Bill to Cinnabar Island. And if you want to go back to the islands, I believe right now you can only go to the first three. You'll be able to go to the four, five, six, and seven, like at some point. I don't know when that is. Uh -huh. But whatever, we're back at Cinnabar, and to go back to one, two, or three island, you have to go to Vermilion's port and go from there. But for part 27 of Leaf Green, this is Mox signing out. Say bye, Mop. Bye, Mop. Bye, Mop. Bye, Mop.